All right, welcome everybody inside the Miss Emily Gourmet Kitchen. This is the very first video on our YouTube channel. It's, it's a super exciting time for us as we welcome you into our brand new kitchen to cook some meals for you guys at home that are not too fancy, not like the restaurant, just simple, quick and easy, nutritious, and obviously super easy for you to knock up at home. So today we're gonna be cooking some of our beautiful dry aged salmon. Obviously that's been able to purchase down here at Miss Emily Gourmet. We're gonna do a beautiful little salad with some quinoa, kale, broccoli, a nice little starter. So let's go get our fish. All right, so our beautiful New Zealand King Salmon in our dry aging fridge, dry aging, as we know, uh, lots of people around the country are dry aging their beef, but here at Miss Emily Gourmet, we're dry aging our fish. So the benefits of the dry aging process is it breaks down the enzymes in the fish and just enhances the flavor. Uh, these have been hanging inside the fridge for about four weeks now. It may sound a little bit unorthodox, but Trust me, uh, the flesh is just so beautiful and shining and it's just incredible. The flavor is so clean and pure. And the, the skin, which we're about to see soon when I pan fry it, just comes up like pork belly crackling, which is incredible. Again, this is our beautiful king salmon, available here at Miss Emily Gourmet. I filleted it in front of you. You can watch me do it. It doesn't get any fresher and the quality just simply does not get any better than this. Let's break this bad boy down and then we'll get cooking. So our beautiful uh, New Zealand King salmon here. I have beautifully filleted, of course. Uh, everything in a little bit of fast motion there, but as you can see, the color and the shine on the fish now is just uh, gorgeous. That oily, that kind of oily sheen. Okay, this is all. This all comes about from the dry aging process. The skin is obviously dry, but almost leather-like, uh, and it's just gonna cook up so beautifully in the pan. Little nice little bubbles, nice and crispy, like I said before in the video, uh, just like pork belly. So you can see how beautiful the fish is. It's got the most unbelievable, pure aroma to it. The most perfect salmon that you can possibly buy. So there it is, our beautiful fillet of fish. Obviously, you can come down here to Miss Emily Gourmet and watch me do this in front of your eyes and then be eating restaurant quality salmon of a night time in your dining room. So let's get cooking. Okay, so as I said earlier in the video, these little cooking demonstrations are all about recipes that we can cook at home. We all feel easy. Nothing too fancy, nothing over elaborate. All the ingredients are available at your supermarkets or of course down here at Miss Emily Gourmet. So personally, this little recipe is something we cook up at home all the time. It's super healthy, got lots of vitamins, antioxidants, all these beautiful colors here you can see. Kale, avocado, almonds, zucchini, broccoli, and of course our beautiful dry aged salmon. Uh, available here at Miss Emily Gourmet. So, firstly, we're just gonna lubricate the skin there and a little bit of sea salt. It's just gonna help crisp up the skin even more so, even though it is dry aged and it's gonna be unbelievable. So, a little bit of oil and a little bit of salt and we're just gonna go back over to our, our cooking line. So, a uh, little handy hint also, a lot of the people on cooking shows I always say, don't add any oil to the pan, just oil the fish, all right, that's nonsense. Get a little bit of oil into the frying pan and I'll show you exactly why in a second. So, non-stick frying pan, just a little bit of oil, not too much. Just a medium heat, okay, just a medium heat at home, not too hot, you can't see any smoke coming off this at all. 
and you want to hear that sizzle as soon as the fish goes into the pan. Beautiful crispy skin in a beautiful non-stick frying pan, okay? Just let it do its thing. We don't need to shake it around. We don't need to press it down. That natural heat of the saucepan is going to start doing its thing on the skin. Nice and crispy. You can hear that now. Uh, things are starting to happen in the pan. A lot of cooking you do, and when you've been cooking for a long time, you start to cook with your ears and, and the sounds of the kitchen. This is super important. Whenever you're cooking, you should be able to hear things. Let the ingredients almost talk to you. So you can hear now that salmon is starting to cook up already. Beautiful, crispy. We're just gonna season the, the flesh side of the salmon really quickly and then start our, our vegetables as well. Got a pot of boiling water on here, okay? So in the restaurant, what we basically say is uh, one part salt to 10 parts water, okay? Dip your finger in at home and the water should almost taste like the ocean, okay? That's how seasoned the water needs to be. Whenever you're blanching vegetables, if you go into plain old water, boring old water, your vegetables or your pasta or anything you're cooking at home is gonna taste as boring as the water does. So it's super important to get your water a little bit nice and salty like the ocean and we're ready to cook. So we've got some beautiful picked kale here, okay, washed. We're gonna go into the water and just panning back here to our fish. I mean, you, you can see that here. If you had touch vision at home, it's just gonna be incredible. I'm happy with where that fish is at now. We're just gonna go over to the oven. We're gonna keep the fish on the skin, pop it into the oven, and I reckon in about six minutes time, we're gonna have perfect medium rare to medium fish, okay? This seafood is ultimate product, okay? The primo manifesto of salmon. So we wanna be eating it medium rare to medium, not well done, not dry, okay? You got beautiful ingredients, so we should eat them correctly in the right way. So medium rare salmon to medium salmon, six minutes time, 180 oven. Okay, so we're back over here. Our beautiful salmon's in the oven. Got about three minutes to spare. Again, these are all quick and easy recipes that we can do at home. Kale's blanching. Kale should take about two to three minutes. Just need a small little drizzle of olive oil into our pan. Got some beautiful little rough chopped broccoli florets. All right, like I said before, we're cooking with our ears now. We can hear that it's, it's sizzling. We know that the broccoli is doing something. It hasn't gone into a cold pan and it's just sitting there all lazy and just doing nothing basically. You've got to hear that. That's the sound of that's the sound of cooking. You can see the broccoli starting to change, going like a brighter green colour. Okay, it's got some heat in it, it's starting to do its thing. Our kale here, two to three minutes. Again, beautiful blanching water. Gonna to toss that straight into our pan with our broccoli. And now we start getting together all of our flavors, okay? You can see already this, this looks healthy, it looks nutritional, it just looks delicious. So we've got some grated zucchini here as well. Straight in, just grate it on the grater. We're not bothering about squeezing all the juice and stuff out of the zucchini, that's where all the flavor is. That's where all the nutrients are. Quick little toss. Okay, let's get some seasoning in there. Start getting some flavor happening. We've got some whole toasted almonds. Okay, everything here is good for you. Some beautiful toasted sunflower seeds. Toasted pepitas. All right. So the broccoli is just, just kind of semi, semi cooked. A little bit al dente, a little bit on the tooth, a little bit of bite. We don't want to overcook all our all of our vegetables, okay? They're not like grandma's braised broccoli and peas for four days that are all army green and lost all their flavor. Everything's nice and fresh. Everything's delicious. A little bit of white pepper, okay? Seasoning, seasoning super important. We're just gonna put that aside for two minutes while we check on our salmon. All right, so our fish has been in the oven for about five minutes. I can feel that there's still a little bit of a little bit of give, a little bit of cushioning in the salmon. Okay, it's not hard, well done, dry. Everything's perfectly beautiful. 
We're just gonna drop a little knob of butter in there, okay? That'll help add that real nutty flavor. It'll help just get that skin, just finish that skin off. You can see that is just incredible. The little bubbles, all, all those edges are beautiful, nice and crispy. And that's because I added that little bit of oil in the pan earlier, okay? If I just put that in there, dry, okay? We're not gonna, it's not gonna get all that extra cooking happening on the edges of the skin. So that's that little handy tip about just adding that little bit of little bit of oil or butter in your pan to start. It's just gonna help cook the perimeter, the outside of, this, of the skin and it's gonna be crispy all the way through. So we're just gonna turn that over now. Let that salmon sit in that butter. Okay, soak up a little bit of that butter, that flavor, that amazing goodness. So crispy, so beautiful. And look at that sitting in that foaming butter now for a couple of minutes. It's gonna be delicious. Okay, so our beautiful salmon is ready. We're gonna take it out of the pan now. It's super important, like our steaks, like our eye fillets cooking at home, our sirloins, that we let our proteins rest. Okay, the salmon's just been in a hot pan. It's been in the oven, 180 degrees. It's a little bit stressed out. Okay, it's super hot. It just needs to come out now and rest a little bit and relax and that will help all the proteins and the, and the flavor and the feel of the fish just relax and mellow out a little bit. So we're gonna bring our salad over here now. Okay, that's been cooking for about three minutes now, not overcooking, everything's still nice and green. Uh, start the plate up now. And then finish our dish. So beautiful colors, straight into the middle of that plate. Okay, when you see green food, it just makes you feel good. You just want to eat it. Beautiful almonds, pepitas, sunflower seeds. Okay, texture. Look at that. Looks delicious. Okay, some avocado. Tips with some avocado. Okay, we're just going to open this up. Nice and easy. Turn it around. With the pip at home. Just insert that and take that out, okay? It's that easy, don't go cutting your finger or your hand off. Cut the avocado straight down the middle, in the half. It's gonna be a hell of a lot easier to just get it out and release it with your fingers than trying to scoop the avocado from the half out of the avocado itself, so. Another little great tip. We just want some kind of rustic pieces of avocado there. Okay, onto our beautiful salad. Another, another texture, another contrast, okay, something cool. Uh, goji berries, full of antioxidants. Another color, another crunch, another texture. Also some uh, Meredith goat's cheese, okay very popular, available here in our Miss Emily Gourmet Deli fridge. We're just gonna break some of that goat's cheese over. Again, another contrast, another, another color, another flavor. Okay, nice and creamy, that goat's cheese and the salmon. The fattiness of the salmon work really well together with the fattiness of the cheese. Fresh herbs, super important. Okay, we've got some beautiful fresh dill and parsley out of the garden. Little chop, just sprinkle them over the top. Cooking with fresh herbs at home is gonna take boring old meals to the next level, okay? Something simple as fresh herbs out of the gardens, nothing done with them, okay? They just add so much beautiful freshness and flavor. Uh, on top with our salmon there, and a cheek of lemon, and we have a beautiful healthy dinner uh, with our dry aged, amazing New Zealand king salmon, okay, you will not find better fish than this around the border, I promise you. Look at that salad underneath, bursting with flavour. Kale, avocado, goji berries, crunch, nice and healthy, Meredith goat's cheese, squeeze a lemon, and I promise you, your whole family will love that. Uh, so there it is, folks, our beautiful King Salmon dry age, okay, you saw me break it down. I'll do that for you here at Miss Emily Gourmet. Take it home, 
a little bit of knob, knob of butter in the pan, crispy skin. So, see you next time. For everything Miss Emily Gourmet, please follow the link below. Check out our website, Facebook and Instagram.